Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Prissy. And okay, so today you guys is what? Techie Tuesday. I'm gonna show you guys how I go ahead and take my pictures and edit my pictures. Alright. So if you want to see how I edit the pictures once I take them, keep on watching. Share this with a friend, family member, or foe. It doesn't matter. They all need to know, baby. Let's get it. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you a few clips of me taking the pictures and how I take the pictures because I am making my life less complicated now, y'all. Yes, I am. Got some tools that actually work. Okay, so let me turn this off so I can use my keyboard. I purchased a tripod that came with an adjustment and attachments for the Canon camera as well as your cell phone. So as you'll see, I am using the kind of cell phone holder. It adjusts to any size phone so that we can get the shots that we're looking for. And off to the side, I know you guys see me looking off to the side, there is a mirror off to the side so that I can actually see myself taking the pictures because I'm actually using the back facing camera always always use the back facing camera unless you're just taking a quick selfie you know and light lights are important so today is about editing the video and I showed you a few clips on how to take the pictures Next video, I hope I'll have everything in place that I can show you guys my setup so that you can actually, you know, get some clear, clean pictures too, boo. Okay? All right. So, let's go ahead and start the screen record. And I'm going to show you guys the pictures that we just took. So, it's recording. You know, I genuinely like to take a lot of pictures only because you never know which one is going to jump out at you. So I am going to select this picture right here. As you can see, you know, it's not too bad. Blur out the background. So that's the f-stop on the phone and just blur, blur, blur so that the body is just jumping out. Okay, now... Sometimes I like to go in and change the exposure a little bit. Now, this is a new phone compared to the phone that I was using. I was using the XR. This is definitely a new, new, new version. And this camera is brilliant. Okay, let me see if I want any highlights. No, don't need no highlights. Shadows. Oh, that's pretty. Just a little bit of shadows. Just making sure that I am still screen recording sometimes your girl forget make it a little brighter right there okay depending on your phone or whatever you're using you may need to add a little bit of saturation but right now the color is looking good so I am going to click done and I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera you guys I'm trying to get the picture done for you okay so I am going to click done. Now, there are like two apps that I use the most and I find that is very helpful. Okay. So the one app that I use is Snapseed. Snapseed actually has the best healing tool. So if you have like any hairs on your face or, you know, Mother Nature just threw that pimple right in the middle of your nose. You can go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to open it, click my favorites, and grab my picture. So let's go ahead and hit healing tool. Now you see, just messed that up. Now another thing that helps too to have is a stylus. Because you can move around and get into crevices that your finger can't get into. So I'm going to click on the healing tool. And I'm going to get rid of these acne scars just gonna click them out a little hair right there my nose ring that I don't wear anymore I always get rid of that a little glitter 
That's all. And if you got a booger in your nose, you can get rid of that too. Okay. Just these little spots. A little dark right there. Lighten that up. Sometimes you can heal up darkness and sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's what it's doing is taking like the spot that's right next to it and healing it. So I am done with that. It depends on where the wispy hairs are, whether or not I'll mess with them. Like I don't really need to mess with this little wispy hair right here. And you see my little texture going on. Sometimes I'll take those away too. Just a little bit. And my little moles. Take that down. And sometimes the lipstick is showing my dark lips. Because me and light lips don't get along. So I'll do that just a touch. Okay, and everything else seems to look pretty good. A little pebble right there. So I'm going to leave it like that. And now we're going to click the check mark and we're done with the healing tool. Now we're going to export that. My favorite, favorite, favorite photo editor is Facetune. And let me tell you why. No, this is original Facetune. Let's go ahead and grab Facetune 2. Now, Facetune 2 will help you get a color adjustment. You can put a total different background. You can make like your earrings stand out. You can, you know, smoothen out your chest a little bit, smooth your under eye and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of white to the eye. I always like to do that. I'll be tired y'all and I'll be in the shows. So I'm just taking my stylus and the slightest tap is what you need. Like the slightest type tap is what you need. It's late, you know. The slightest tap. And see this bar down here at the bottom, I don't have it all the way up. Now if I turn it all the way up, it's going to be too bright. Go to the other eye and just tap some whiteness into there because you want your pictures to look awake okay so now that we've done that now you see this little dark spot right there that is a bronzer that's a little bit too dark and the um highlighter that's a little bit too dark but I love the highlighter so I wear it anyway so what I'm going to do is fix that but before I do that I'm gonna click on details and touch the earrings so you can see them turn that all the way up and do I need to detail anything else sometimes the light will blur out your lashes so I'll touch the bottom of that and I don't have no bottom lashes girl they just don't exist they just don't exist Okay, so now I'll have that. And the very next thing, is there anything else in here that I need to do? I'm gonna come back for the smooth tool. Now let me hit, I'm gonna hit details on my highlight just a touch. Cause sometimes the light, two lights together make a burst. So these lights in here, and then the highlight is a light. So sometimes it's just, a lot turn it down a bit okay I went low hand with the um, highlighter around my mouth it's looking like a and my nose is looking like a stripe okay so now that we've done that sometimes you can add a little bit of glow and just turn it down So that your highlight pops out just turn it down okay and now do I need anything else I don't really necessarily touch my makeup unless the um, inner corner highlight is not looking like bright then I'll add a little bit of detail to it so let's go and paint 
and paint, we're going to do something different. We're going to try to diminish the hollows of the eye. Okay, so I'm going to select picker and I'm going to go to where I want the color change to be. Select it and click tone. Now in tone, I'm just going to tap along the depression. Now it's not going to totally erase it, but it will diminish it a little bit. That will definitely help. If you hit the square at the bottom, it'll show you the before and after. Tone, it just gives you exactly what you already have there. Just helps to bring it out more. Have to get rid of those little depressions. Oh, Lord. The dentist and filler. I'm on my way. Not scared no more. Okay. So you can take that down a little bit so it's not so bright. And you can also erase too. So say I have too much under my eye. I'm just going to erase that. Take it down. That looks better. And we're going to smooth it out so don't worry. Now select picker. Pick that side. Zoom in. Pick this side. Add a little bit of tone. The tone is picking up what you have there already. So. Okay. And that's it for that. Now we're going to slide back to smooth. And we're going to zoom all the way in. And I am going to use my finger and I am just slightly tapping with the smooth tool, just slightly tapping. It helps to blend in the tone. It's kind of like putting baby powder or your setting powder on under there. Now you don't have to do none of this, but this is what I do. Okay. And a lot of people have been asking me about it. So you don't want to swipe back and forth because it's going to mess it up. And there we go with that. A little bit on the forehead because I need to shave. And we go down the nose a little bit. Now the sides of the mouth a little bit. I need to shave. Smooth everything out. Right there. Okay. Now, as you can see, I don't smooth the entire face. Depending on the look, depending on the day. If it's a good day, I don't need to do all of that. Okay. So, I just touched it. And if you make a mistake, you can erase it. That looks a lot better. Now, we zoom out, we click done. The photo that we just finished, it just imported. And you click on looks, and you can go to your last edit and get that edit. Or you can click on portrait and get that edit. You can click on smooth and get that edit, which is way too much. But if, see, if you go in there and you have this, what you can do is click finish click the top button at the top where it has the arrow in the square view edits and you can go in and take things away so if that glamour glow is too much just take it away now we have portrait now you can click the sliding bar and you can adjust the face spotlight the smoothing of the skin you could take it down the eye clarity, you could take that down. The face spotlight. And if you click on the picture, you'll see the difference in it. Face spotlight, go ahead, take it down. And 
and that's one way to get your photos edited. We're gonna export that one too. And those are the main two things that I use to edit my photos, you guys. I mean, I do have VSCO on my phone only because I wanted to try out the different filters because sometimes, you know, you want to play with filters and such. And then Photoshop Fix, that's a good way to um, do things to like a quick smooth. So let's just pick the original picture. And if you go into the smooth tool, you can smooth the entire face. And at the top where the layers are, you can take the smoothness down and up, down and up. Or you can go in and click restore and you can remove the smooth in certain areas. Like off the brow and then once you do that you can click the layers and flatten it. Right, and that's pretty much how I do my edits. Is there anything else on here? Nope. Lightroom, you can balance your color. Import photo from Camera Roll. Let's take the original. And say your color is off, you can go in and change your color, the temperature of it. You can change the vibrance of it. You can saturate, you can do all kinds of things. Okay, all kinds of things. So that's how I edit my photos, you guys. I mean, it's real simple. You just have to go in and play around with it. There's nothing that is hard about it. I mean, you can not edit at all, which a lot of times I do, or most times I just use the camera edits that are on the actual phone, you know, but my skin is different. So I like to remove the little pimples and bumps and molds. And other than that, that's pretty much it. That's how I do it. If you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comment section. And until the next time, you guys. Bye.